Gormaya versus Zoya Sugar. It's a catch-up game for uh, the Gorbaya side who already have one game in hand. But Zoya Sugar have got to make the long drive down from the Sugar Belt region into the city and all the way to Machakos for the game. Saturday is a very dour game, but with Gormaya in total control here. Although the Zoya Sugar side was not giving up. The initial chances weren't very many, but uh, Malinia would be the man on the Mac after uh, the goalkeeper spewed forth uh, a ball Mangala would not be blamed for this one because he had start, tried previously and had uh, already pushed off uh, the balls on the line for about three of them. But this time round, Samuel Nyango's shot is blocked by uh, Mr. Benson Mangala and the rebound is pushed in by Balinha. The new signing enters the fray in a very good way for the Gorbaya side, scoring yet another goal in uh, the second uh, leg of the 2019-2020 season. Onyango had a more difficult time of trying to put in the goalkeeper. Mangala denied him so many times that he denied him again this time. But uh, Juba Balinha, this time round, was on target from uh, a shot that came from uh, Samuel Onyango. Clifton Mihenso, who was a thorn in the flesh for uh, the Zoya defense, worked so tirelessly to bring in all the through balls that were cutting across very nicely. And uh, he's the man who should be credited with most of the runs that were being done on the left foot. He changed wings at some point and went to the right foot, but still had the same devastating effect of bringing in the crosses. Some at 45, some just very long ones. So yeah, it would look like they're holding on, and they did for a little while. But started committing a little bit of mistakes as well. They got by your side with Josh and Momani salvaging sometimes what would have been a problem here. Joffrey Cheng didn't put the ball back to his goalkeeper categorically, and Momani had to dash in between the goalkeeper and uh, Uchuma, the striker on the Zoya Sugar side, to push the ball out. So it looked very well balanced initially. As uh, Gabaya looked like they were kept waiting, Clifton Mieso almost scoring from a long range. But kudos to Mangala as well. He knew that that would be going outside. He covered the post and made sure the ball would not pass into the net from that position. And ultimately, watched it hit the post. The danger was the rebound and who was going to latch onto it. But that, for the moment, was not a worry. And then it started Almost coming together for the Zoya Sugar side, but probably the only time they got the ball close to Mr. Mapingano in uh, a way that would have uh, tested him was the shot that went directly to him. That was easily picked up as well. Germaya started exerting control of the game. And across from the right side, almost beat all the defenders. Miheso cut it back in a 45. The header was pushed away by Mangala yet again. Balinha tried to make sure that he's going to go into the net. Miheso again directly towards the goalkeeper and Mangala still denied him the chance. No doubt in uh, this half, Mangala would be the man of the match totally for the number of goals that would have been scored at which he stopped short in that direction. The header coming from Samuel Nyango, who's uh, had a difficult time trying to get the ball past uh, Mangala in the entire game. Miheso as well just couldn't get it past the goalkeeper so Bengala would make sure that uh, there is uh, no goal so far in this game and uh, would make sure that he had kept a clean sheet right up to that moment that everything was working well for him so by now the game of course is at an advanced stage and uh, we are heading probably towards uh, the end of the first half. And a through ball for Samuel Onyango, uh, rather for uh, Miguna, came uh, tantalizingly close to getting into the net, giving some fresh hope to the fans of Gormaya that they would see goals. Miguna rounds the goalkeeper and then tries to put it in the net. The defenders cover the distance nicely, but it still goes out of the field of play. And it's that moment that began to show that Mangala He's already now losing a little bit of confidence. He's playing as the last man. He's coming off his line so often. He has to do it. 
Bolinha is uh, provided for by Samuel Onyango. On to the right side. With Gormaya now increasing the attacks. Miheso then tries to shoot. That spillover is again put in by Miguna. And that is uh, another goal for the Gorbaya side. Mangala would obviously look like the man who's going to be blamed for it, but uh, what a difficult position to be able to recover from. As the scoreline changes again in favor of Gormaya. Two nil by now. Mangala already looking a little bit fatigued and also a little bit disillusioned from the fact that his defenders were not keeping him uh, in good check. But it ends 3-0 in favor of Gormahia.